first thing I like to start out with is some nice long tones, usually in the lower register of the instrument. I like to just go up chromatically in this little half note pattern that you hear here. So up and then back down, and then I usually go all the way up until the throat tones. And the next exercise that I like to do, I like to do these arpeggios. And so I'll start on low E, go all the way up to altissimo E, and then back down. Then I'll just go up chromatically using the major arpeggios. And the purpose of this exercise is to just make sure that you are playing every single note available to you on your instrument so that you kind of get a feel for the resistance and how your reed's feeling that day. And on this exercise, you really want to make sure that you're getting a nice smooth legato between the notes and trying to connect them as best as possible. So as you'll see here, I'll go all the way up until the double high C and back down. One thing that I always like to include in my warm-up routine is some sort of articulation exercise. This is an exercise that I learned from Tom Martin, who is the associate principal clarinet of the Boston Symphony. And for me, it's just a really great way to help improve the speed of my tongue. So you see the patterns here. We're going up by one step each time. I usually do this on G major for whatever reason, so I'll start in a low E end up on a high E, and then as you'll hear here, I will go back down. Of course, this exercise can be performed in any scale. It doesn't need to be any particular one, but for whatever reason, I've always done it with one sharp in the key signature. And the goal of this exercise is, of course, every day you get it one to two beats per minute faster. So the next exercise that I like to do is I like to go through all of my major and minor scales. As you can hear here, I am doing the closé scales. I really like this because it can just be done in about a minute, and it takes you through all the keys, and it's very useful to have in your repertoire. If I have more time, I'll try to do the Behrman scales, just because I feel like they're a little bit more thorough than these closé scales, but either way, I think it's important to go through all of your major and minor scales every day if you have the chance to do so. So these last two exercises that I do, I made videos on, which I'll provide a link to right up in the corner here. The first one is, of course, the alternate D exercise. This exercise really helps me to sort of get the position of my tongue and airflow correct. And then this last exercise is the five note Behrman. I'm doing sort of an abbreviated version of it here, but Again, I'll provide a link to the video that I did on this exercise in the corner of the video here, so you can click on that and see what this one is all about. So after I go through all these exercises, I know that I am ready to play for the day, so after I'm done with this, I will then move on to whatever things I need to practice for the day or whatever repertoire that I need to work on. So I just wanted to take you through my morning routine. I don't get to everything every day, but I try to do most stuff every day that I can. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's shorter, sometimes I add things, sometimes I subtract things. It's good to have a good morning routine so that you're set and ready to play for the day. It also just helps me keep the consistency of my playing up. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it gives you some ideas of what you should do in the morning to warm up. Let me know if you liked the video, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Happy practicing.